Hello, I'm Joe, Fleet Manager for Silchuck Transport. And today we're going to go over how a cage breaks in case you have one lock up. It's a temporary repair just until you get to a truck stop to get it replaced. We have two different brake chambers here. This one's for air disc brakes. This one's for your drum brakes. Both of them work off the same concept. Uh, if you have one fail, it's leaking air out or not releasing. Both have a caging bolt. It's located right on the side. It's got little ears here to hold in place and the nut snugs up. Same on the drum style one. What you do is you pull this out and you're gonna insert it into here. There's two little grooves you gotta push it into and lock it into place. Then you'll tighten up the nut to release the chamber. All right, let's say this here brake chamber is bad. It's not releasing. We're gonna locate the caging bolt onto the side here. Loosen up the nut. Break it off. All right, gonna pop the caging bolt out. There's this little rubber cap. Pull it open. Kind of look in there and see how the bolt needs to go. Get in there. You're gonna push it into the grooves. Turn it about 90 degrees. Pull it towards you. Make sure it doesn't come out. Put your washer on. Your nut. Then the cage breaks. You're gonna take your adjustable wrench again, and you're going to tighten up this nut until it stops turning. It's a little bit of a process. It turns hard. There's a heavy spring in there. And you'll be able to watch your brakes release as you go. Now your brake chambers, the only reason you're really going to cage them is if the diaphragm internally goes bad and it's starting to leak out of the uh, caging bolt hole or the vent hole. If that happens, it's not going to release and you got to cage it just to release it so you get to a truck stop. From there, they can replace it. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.